Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In uh, this video, we're going to be adding a custom server to Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the Xbox Series S. Meaning, it'll work on the Xbox Series X as well and all the other platforms. So, let's go ahead and, and get into it. So, obviously, we've got the pre-servers right here, the featured servers. And we can't add one because we don't have a button to down here. It's not here. Let's just join a server to show you that it'll still send us to a server that that way so you know I'm not trying to juke anyone. As you see, we automatically join a server like normal. So if we go ahead and quit and we go ahead and open the settings, we're going to need to go to the network settings and then go down to the advanced settings. And change the DNS to, let's see, I have it here opened. So I need to change it to 104, 238, uh, 130, 180. Now, I know you're all saying, why are we changing our DNS? What does this have to do with, the reason we're changing this is because we're telling minecraft to not go through the mojang servers we're telling it to go through a custom dns server which will proxy us to a custom menu which will then allow us to connect to a different server so if we go ahead and go to the next one we'll put eight for all of this this will be the google dns server now if we go ahead and click back it'll connect us there and everything and as you can see where it says current network status this is it right here. We have IPv4. That's the problem. Some of this will not work because we have an IPv4. Now let's say you didn't. Let's go ahead and go back to Minecraft. We'll go ahead and go back to the menu to reload the servers. And we'll go over here. And let's go ahead and let the thing ping everything. So if you try to connect to the hive, Sometimes it won't give you the actual menu. Because it'll still connect us. So let's say you didn't see this menu right here. Well, you would then have to go into your command prompt. So type cmd in the search bar. And type ipconfig. If I can spell it right. ipconfig-all. That'll give us a whole list of gibberish that we don't need to worry about. Find a default gateway. Right here is 10.0.0.1. So we were going to go and open a new tab. Type in 10.0.0.1. You're going to need your Xfinity login for the router. Now, sometimes it varies. It could be admin or it could be cuz admin. Now, if it's cuz admin, well, your password is simple. It's high speed. This is going to be your password. If it's admin, well, then it's going to be password. I've already changed my login, so I'm just going to autofill it. Now that we're in the menu of a router, we need to go to connections. Go to local IP network. And now we have our IPv6 address assignment. We need to change these because we don't want this. We need to break the IPv6 because we can't disable it. So we need to break it and force it to disable. How? Well, we're going to type in that DNS server that we've seen earlier. So 104, 238, 130, and 180. We're going to do it for both fields. So 130, 180, 238, and 104. This will force our router to stop using IPv6. This breaks it. That's the whole point. We don't need it. So it's going to disconnect us from the internet. Should take a couple of seconds to reconfigure everything. And then after it reconfigures, we can then go back to our Xbox. Of course, 
after it finally finishes. So now our saves, uh, our data has been saved. Let's go back here. Uh, we need to let our Xbox app reconnect. We're going to go back. Exit server list. Now, of course, if this works, you're going to know it because sometimes things break. So if we then go to our server list again and we just click on whatever server we want, we click join. Now it's going to connect us to that menu and it's going to always work. So then we can connect to a server. I'll connect to my personal Forever Play server. Just to, just to show you that it works. Now that we got that, let's go down here. Uh, I'm just going to put FP for Forever Play. And then we're going to click Submit. Now what this is going to do is it's going to connect us to our server. And as you can see, it connects us to our server. Now the reason it brings this menu up is because I'm using uh, Geyser. Geyser brings up this menu. I don't know how to disable it. You won't get this... Uh, message if you do it another way. This is just the way I did it. I hope this helps a lot of people out who use Xfinity or are unable to change their IPv6. If this helped, let me know in the comment section below and I'll keep uh, going to make new tutorial videos. Thank you all for tuning into this uh, tutorial and I'll see you all in the next video.